Hello, stream. Uh, let's get... Are they? Can't even put a second. So yeah, it is very cold in the venue. Like, my hands are very frosty, and it's like, I'm... yeah, great. Joining me is Havoc Dog. Um, but yeah, the whole like the whole hand thing. It's like as everyone, everyone has to deal with it. It's like I'm sure Catherine was also feeling reasonably frosty because yeah, it's quite chilly in the venue, isn't it? Yeah, my, I can't feel my my fingers. Definitely quite cold. Definitely just a moment of like. Even Hamlin was just being like, oh god, I'm gonna use this for actual hand. It's not just to like <laughs> practice tech. Yeah. Yeah. I've used those um those like little hand warmer things you can get. Yeah. But they're they are they they are kind of alright. But they're they're not great. They're not great. No. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, Hamlin's yeah. Hamlin's is when you practice ledge dashing when you're spacey, and when you're not the spacey, you keep an eye on their ledge dashes if they're... Look, if I'm against a Falco, an ASD three or four times due to ledge dashing, um, like messing it up in Hamlet, I'm definitely scouting that double laser. <laughs> that double laser from ledge or that ledge hop there. Yeah. Like, nah, Kai's very practiced. Very well practiced uh, with yeah. ledge dashes. He's not one to... The good thing about Kaido is that he's actually been mixing in double laser more recently um, once he's earned the space. The thing about double laser is a lot of Darkers just do it like as their default option. Yeah. But once you actually have a competent ledge dash and you force some level of respect um, on the ledge. On the other person, yeah, and like you get some sort of space covered because of that, then you can start mixing in double laser if they give up too much. Just for like You're very strong. Yeah, you have like a free approach well a free like return to stage just just completely yeah. covered by yeah. Yeah. It's an awful interrupt. <laughs> so hard to deal with. Yeah. Alright, so... I wonder where we're going. I probably... Eh, that'll be what I guess. Alright, so... What's Kai? Okay, yeah, Kai prefers out of it. Then that's the dream mind for that. That's fair. That's but I feel it's a pretty decent stage. I think for both of these characters, really. It's, yeah, definitely. It's like, it's a pretty standard, like, yeah. um, Prediction? Ooh, well, like, Kai won last time. And yeah. Pretty convincingly. Um, Ruben's still having, like, control issues. Yeah. Which is a bit of a problem. And talking to me, he's also saying, like, just because of those control issues, he's been less motivated to play in practice. Yeah, it can be really frustrating. It's it, like, you are doing all you can, and yet still, yeah, the control I think, is failing. Melee, like, Melee is such a great game in the sense that, like, you feel like you have complete control of your character. Yeah, you, yeah. So when, when you expect to do something, especially when you're well practiced and, like, you're used to, like, actually your character moving how you want it to, yeah. when you go to do something and something else happens, that dissonance can be really jarring. Yeah. Like, you're, yeah, just, yeah. you're expecting something to happen and it just doesn't. And you're like, what? And you just can completely throw off every. Like every yeah. next action. Yeah, it is really um yeah, it's dark. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like even when me and you were playing uh, friendlies before and I thought I was you and I jumped and then it didn't work, it was yeah. like my whole brain just like fried for like <laughs> Yeah. For a long enough time for like, you know, bad stuff to happen. <laughs> there we go. Alright, perfect. Yeah, Alright, great. Um, Both their movements looking really clean. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I actually haven't looked at the play for the last 20 seconds. I was actually just having a discussion, but yeah. 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 They, um, Root Lake, Rubens has a very crisp wave dash on the play. And you need to assess. Yeah. You're never rolling again. It's, um, yeah. Is it... Does Samus get, uh, get, like, bullied at the ledge a lot as well? Like, if she gets boxed in, is it hard for her? Because, like, I know with, uh, in, like, dog, like, if it's, you're at the ledge and there's a spacey, like, on you, it's really hard to do anything. 
It's quite hard. The thing about Samus is like, she doesn't have, obviously she can't roll. The roll is terrible. Yeah. And she can't really retreat to ledge. Yeah. And she's at that like, she's a floaty, so she can't really just like hop off over. Does so she have any good out of shield options? You know, her upbeat out of shield is dead. Her upbeat out of shield oh, is definitely yeah. what's carrying her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the Samus is going to try and mix up like, different wave dash timings and clamps long shield and try and like, Sneak into center because otherwise there's not really. Yeah. Adi. Looking pretty, pretty even for the most part. Kai's taking stops. Quicker than Gang seems though. Nice, nice. Put him out for that. Kai just, uh, Kai just fire-birded in like oh, direct, at a direct line of uh, charge shot. So Ruben just got that free stock. And now he's in the league for the first time in the game. He's and it's okay, again. brings it back. All right. Brings it back, yeah. I think it's like, in the past, a lot of times what would happen is I would get a like solid lead and then it'd be last stock. Ruben, like, Samus would be at 130, 140. Kai'd be at like 40. And he'd somehow die or something. Like, say a bad, a poorly DI down smash. Yeah. Uh, Samus will like, it's, it's a tough life for the bird sometimes. Yeah. You can hit easily. I mean, I think, I think the thing that keeps Melee going is like, even though uh, Fox and Falco are like some of the best, well, two of the best characters in the game. They're fast forwarders, so they're easy to combo as well. Definitely. So it's like, if they if they weren't easy to combo, then this game would be so much less fun. Oh, yeah. But it's because they're fast forwarders and they're good. Good. Yeah, it just goes out. Yeah, if this game. Um, yeah, Puff was like the best and most prevalent character, this game would be dead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, look. Hopefully it doesn't go, end up like that. I've always had a, like a mindset, and this isn't even like a knock on floating plays, but like spaces and like fast levels to an extent like subsidize um, floaty and midweights like existence sort of because like if it was all just a bunch of peaches and puffs, yeah. then you know if everyone was like, yeah, I want to play peach and puff, then like <laughs> the game's doomed. But yeah, um, those brave heroes playing fox, <laughs> Falco, yeah, Falco. but it, it, but it evens out because they're also. Fantastic characters. Yeah, they're still so great. It's, yeah. It's, it's this really cool dynamic of like, you know, like they're, they're fun to verse, but they're also really good. Exactly, yeah. So, like, I mean, it's really fortunate that everything's sort of. That's one of the reasons why people, like, one of the many reasons why people despised um, Smash 4 Bayo being like the best character. Yeah. That character was hard to combo. Yeah. That character just. Yeah, if you're gonna be good, you better be easy to combo. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just misses it. Who do you think the hardest character in the game to combo is? To combo? Uh, Luigi, because that Nair. <laughs> thing is like... It's hard. I, it's, the hardest character to combo is... I feel like it's like Samus. Samus? Samus or... Ah, uh, no, that's, that's not true. Samus like... From a Fox perspective, it's not because the Fox is wave shine. Uh, I don't know, it's... The thing about Luigi is that like... I guess it's hard to combo, but it's very easy to fuse. Like, like his disadvantage is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, so, yeah, he's not a good character. No. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he's viable, but yeah, only just. Money. He's at definitely that like edge. Yeah, right on the edge. Look, if you're trying to make a claim to top ten, if you're thinking about, um, you know. Make a top eight at Evo, Luigi might not be a choice, but yeah. I mean, I mean, a bait got top eight at uh, top eight at Big House that one time. That one time. Actually, I guess Evo is a uh, good analogy anyway nowadays. I guess now like Genesis. Yeah, yeah Genesis or I mean, maybe the the World Championship now, whatever that's called. Okay, world Tour. Or when the entire world settles, like, yeah. when this pandemic finishes and yeah. go back to having majors again. Yeah. Man, it's really depressing. Like, just like, when you're used to like getting a beat of um, 
your sports or esports yeah. or whatever, and then you just get the weekend happens and nothing's on. Yeah, yeah. It's like, ah. Oh. I bought uh, I bought tickets to a lot of like uh, gigs in the upcoming months, and they've all been like oh. cancelled or rescheduled. Yeah. It is, yeah, it's pretty pretty unfortunate. Pop got top eight at CEO Dreamland two years ago, solo Luigi. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think I think there's a big difference in like big major tournaments between top eight and uh, the rest of the bracket. Yes, Dreamland. It really it's, whittles it's, out. See, the Dreamland's like pretty well. Anyway, yeah. whoa, talking about this, Kai just kind of. Uh, he's, he's trying to train. Um, Yoshi is not is a pretty strong counter pick, mm. but like Samus kind of gets boxed in. If, and there's just stocks where Falco gets shine into shine and Samus dies at 40. It's like, well, yeah. oh, well, when you're used to living to 120 or so, it's... Yeah. Okay, but now we're fought. High ceiling, weird platform heights that oh. can vary in Oh! Nah, no, he's gonna get punished for it. Okay, he didn't get down it, which is good. He got it back out to that shine. I, th I think... Mm. Okay. Still, Falco still gets the so it's not as big of a deal. Sad that MGK, Club and SDJ all dropped out of CO Dreamland this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the list just keeps going on and on. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but... Um, yeah. Oh! Uh, that's no! It would have been good if it uh, hit Kai and... Hit this stage, but see, the thing about Kai is that like he actually has he has a lot of confidence in his five birds too, and mm. a lot of times they are just completely invincible. Mm. But if you're just that little bit off, that like you have mm. those one or two frames of vulnerability on, oh, okay, oh. it's a good player like Ruben can pull you out for it. Yeah, well, he, honestly, anyone, yeah. <laughs> anyone that like as long as you have like any sort of recovery that's active, like yeah, then like, that has an active hitbox, then you can clip the bird and then the bird. Is in a really terrible situation, but we could get out sort of. Is, uh, when is Bam this year? Bam is 29th of May to, yeah. May. Yeah, May. So it's a uh, bit on the edge, a little bit. Yeah, uh, I reckon it'll run. I reckon it will. Hopefully. I could see them potentially going. Top size pony? Maybe. Or even just doing like a smaller event. So yeah. like a. Maybe we can find some uh, some loopholes around the 500 <laughs> limit. It's, you know, it's in three different built. It's in like three different rooms. Yeah, yeah. If there's uh, one one thousand. Yeah. Nice. That's the five, right? Yes. Yeah. So we've still got. If, yeah, I wonder where actually. Kai goes if he loses. Which, I mean, by no means is he out of it yet. But, yeah. Um, he used to counter pick uh, FD way back, but Ruben's very comfortable with the ground game against Falco. Right? Again, yeah. owing to like, him being very comfortable wave dashing Ooh. out of shield. And just wave dashing as soon as possible out of it. So yeah, I think confidence is something you really gotta have when playing uh, like mid low tier. Yeah, yeah you. Yeah, the thing is, like, you don't want to do any sort of panic jump, especially as, like, floaties, just because yeah. it takes a while. If Fox does a panic jump, probably get back down, yeah. it's a, actually a really big deal. Fox is like a panic Oh, that almost... Oh, yeah. not almost it. Ah, uh, that's it. Got yeah. him. I'm going to go pick up my wallet real quick, because sure. I'm stressing out. Oh, oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely want to keep the uh, mic up. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're going either FD or Ashes. Yeah. I was gonna say Dreamer, but then I was thinking like maybe Stadium, but yeah, FD. It's it's still a very solid stage for Falco. I mean, Samus up bees and <laughs> she has to land. There's no platform, so I guess if she's like very close to the edge, then she can grab onto that, but. So, I actually spot dodging the grab. It's, it's kind of necessary. Ruben's actually very good at hitting just like, just like sort of conditioning you to shield and then getting um, mix-ups like grab. But 
I spelled that too correctly. <laughs> Doing the right thing. There's a, I think there's a real skill in like uh, knowing that you're playing like a best of five and sort of training your opponent to throughout like the games to. Uh, so yeah, like picking up, even if it's not just like, you, I mean you, you can like try and like deliberately cause a habit, but just like picking up on the person's habits as the set goes on. Yeah. It's, it's really crucial. It's, yeah. It's very hard to do, like. Just thinking in general. It's hard. You're yeah. Like, not, you a, have, not a thinker. You have to like, you have to control your character and that's hard enough. Then you actually have to think about the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that. This game goes so much deeper. Oh, it goes thing. incredibly deep. He tried to CC. He really wanted that CC down smash, but just not quite. Kai just a bit too safe in his. A bit too safe hitting the Samus, and the Samus being just a little bit too high. Oh, that's interesting. He like. So, like, Ribbon went to just take the laser and then try and immediately, I think, wave dash forward and try and F tilt, but he just got stopped out by. Uh, I think I put out an air or a dare, initially yeah. after laser. That's the thing, you can like, you can take laser and then wave dash back, or not so much dash back for Samus, but like other characters dash back. But if Falco lasers you and then just does an approaching laser afterwards, especially on like FD where there's no platforms to retreat to, I think just take space. And then you like, you've lost that little bit of space, and then you're in the same position as before, but now you've got less room to retreat to. So sometimes yeah. you need to like take laser, or shield laser, and do something forwards. You need to make Falco scared to like, laser up towards you. Yeah. Because if not, then like, you've already lost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if Falco can spend lasers, if they Falco, will. Yeah, if Falco can just do like, laser, laser, dare approach. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Gonna... Yeah, it's really difficult to uh, learn how to His get, name? get out of that. Oh, the best Samus? Yes. yes. He is definitely, he's definitely our best Samus. Are there any other Samus plays, really? There's some on netplay. There's Mule. Well, is an Australian. Mule, I believe, is New Zealand. Mm. There's also, I believe, a Perth Samus. Elsa, right. Suza. I can't remember the exact name, but, yeah, right. but no, uh, Ruben is definitely yeah, a good, step, quite a good step Samus. Player. And I think SA like, um, I was talking to I think Kai about this, and he said like, it's a good. It's one of the reasons how we got into like top eight of fan last year. Because no one else in any other state knows how to verse Samus as well. <laughs> so, Look, I mean, absolutely full credit to Ruben. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but he, he, like you've got to be good to even. Yeah, you've like, got to be, good to be even, insane to even be able to use that. As yeah, 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 yeah. But it's definitely like an advantage no one knowing the matchup oh, yeah. either. That's yeah. The, yeah, it's like the trade-off, right? It's, the character itself is like mid here, but because it's not that common, a lot of people aren't. Like, even yeah. if the matchup may be Falco or Fox favorite, if you don't know how to actually use the matchup to your head, then yeah. it's meaningless, right? And she's a very unique character as well, I think. Yeah. If you don't know how to deal with um, If you don't know how to space around shield properly, or edge guard, like Sam's or even like friends in edge guard, then. Yeah. He's got a fantastic cover. So Kai went the spot dodge, um, but Sam's grab was actually so slow that it grabbed after the spot dodge ended. It was still active by the time the spot dodge ended, so, you know, that was nice for times having bad frame data. Lead to your <laughs> bad name. frame data. Bad frame data. <laughs> you know, shout out to Zelda's grab. It's like frame. It's, it's bad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it is frame bad. bad. It's frame bad. <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh, oh, he let him live. He let him live. Giving him a second okay. chance. Oh, yeah. Is he going to regret it? <laughs> Ruben's smiling, but uh, there's that little... Okay. Ah. There's any, any sort of hit, just yeah. like flip. It's like a shot. Alright, they're doing the salute. Good That's games, lovely. both All of right. them. That was very entertaining. We're going to probably do lose... Uh, let's see, so that was... Yeah, we're going to do some losers quarters matches now. Cal um, Catherine? Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Survival.